Welcome everyone back to Weekly Weather Updates and this evening we'll have a look at the latest from the live radar, we'll have a look at weather warnings as we do have a yellow rain warning for some northern areas as we do have some very heavy rain over the next few days days. We'll then also have a look at the longer term outlook with the GFS, the GM, the ECWF and the GFS ensembles and we'll finish up having a look at the UK Met Office run as well. Now we've got a lot of rain over the next few days but when we have a look at the medium to long range models we're seeing something very interesting sort of cropping up in around 10 days time. Um, we've seen a bit of a uh, model flip overnight um, into today as most of the models, all the operational runs and a lot of the ensemble runs are showing something quite a bit colder for um, sort of the start um, of November. Things are looking very interesting with potentially some north and northeasterly winds coming in. So do remember, if you enjoyed my videos, make sure you like and subscribe, and do remember to follow on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. Also, uh, if you're interested in what we could be seeing for winter, make sure you check out my third winter look, look ahead that I did publish yesterday, and I'll link that up in the top right-hand corner. So if we do have a look at the live radar, you can see, can see at the moment, most areas are actually pretty dry, especially across England, Wales, and most of Scotland. However, across Western Scotland, we've got heavy rain and weather fronts pushing in. A lot of Ireland and Northern Ireland have got a very heavy rain in and around as well and it's a typical pattern where we're seeing southwesterly winds bringing in a conveyor belt of moisture and seeing a lot of relief rainfall where the moist air rises above the mountains condenses and forms rain clouds so we're seeing a lot of that over the next few days these weather fronts will push eastwards at times but it is really this north and western areas which are going to be the main area for this rainfall if we do have a look at the yellow warnings we do have a yellow rain warning for western and southern parts of Scotland. You can see it starts at 9pm tonight until 9am tomorrow with persistent heavy rain may lead to disruption, especially to travel. Spells of persistent heavy rain accompanied by fairly windy conditions will set in across parts of southwest and central Scotland on Saturday evening and last until Sunday morning. Rainfall accumulations of 20 to 40 millimetres are expected, potentially 70 to 80 millimetres falling in a few spots over the hills again. High likelihood, lower impact, but still could be some disruption from this. So if you are planning to do anything tomorrow morning, make sure you do check uh, or keep an eye on the radar. As there could be a lot of rain overnight tonight um, and do be careful if there is any flood waters around. That does expire 9am tomorrow um, and does it beyond that. There's no weather warnings at this stage, but there will still be a lot of rain around this coming week. So if you do now have a look at the GFS, um, you can see at the moment we've got southwesterly winds starting to push in, it's creating this conveyor belt of moisture with low pressure out in the Atlantic, this low pressure is going to continually push through with the sort of mother low sitting out towards Iceland, spiralling in other areas of low pressure. And as we head up towards day 10, you can see we're continuing with a low pressure theme, however you can see this ridge of high pressure coming out of northeast Canada, and we start to pull in northerly winds. This low towards Iceland has been shifted towards Scandinavia. We're starting to go quite a bit colder in 10 days time for the first few days of November. This sort of north or northwesterly airflow continues. Not massively cold air initially over the top of the UK, but pretty chilly, cold enough to give frosts potentially in quite a few areas as we are getting into November now. Longer nights um, and the sun strength is decreased. It's going to be a couple degrees colder than the coldest stat we had um, a few days ago. Um, oh, yes, yeah, Thursday, Friday time. And if we do continue... You can see we again see another low pressure dive in from the north. We see high pressure build in behind it towards Greenland and we go into a real northerly plunge. Really quite cold air coming down from the north. If we do have a look at the temperature deviation, you can see really quite chilly. Um, a good sort of 6, 8 or even 10 degrees below average. Really quite cold um, for this time of year. And that's because we've got this ridge of high pressure building up in the mid-Atlantic, pulling in an east to northeasterly winds, and you couldn't rule out snowfall to even low-lying areas at times, especially overnight with that sort of air mass. And you can see this high pressure continues towards 384 hours, even though we're temporarily going to bring in a bit of a milder air, it does look like we're going to see another northerly plunge. A very interesting GFS run there. Not something we were seeing really yesterday. And we'll have a look at the GM, the east of WF now, and you can see they do follow in a similar theme. If we do have a look at the GM, you can see again, southwest winds at the moment with this mother 
low out in the Atlantic, just bringing in areas of low pressure. And then as we're towards day 10, that low shifts out towards Scandinavia. We see higher pressure out in the mid-Atlantic and we start to bring northerly winds in. Pretty brisk northerly wind, not massively cold, but again, the GFS didn't go really massively cold until about 300 hours out. So a good couple of days from here, still a cold northerly airflow temperature getting well below zero degrees at 50 hpa for snow we'd really need that minus five line to get through um, but again it is early season it's the start of november so that minus five line um, will be difficult to get through in that gfs run even though it's not really an outlier in terms of pressure patterns um, an exact sort of um what we're going to be seeing synoptically um, sort of air mass wise it is probably on the colder end of the spectrum and again if we did run this on another couple of days i would expect this high that is up towards northeast canada to continue and stay strong and us to see this low that's over iceland to slide in from the northwest to southeast and bring in another area of cold air if you do have a look at the ECWF, see how that does compare to the two other models you can see again a lot of southwesterly winds with this mother low out in the atlantic and then as we're towards day 10 another northerly wind you can see, again, really quite cold. Not as much cold air to our north. It does look like the cold air is shifted to the other side of the pole on this EC, latest ECMWF run. Nowhere near as much cold air towards Greenland, Scandinavia, but we are still in a pretty cold airflow, and you can see a good four to six degrees potentially below average. So pretty chilly there um, in terms of the ECMWF. Just not quite as cold as the other runs, simply because there isn't that much cold air on the ECMWF over the North Pole. So we now have a look at the GFS ensembles. We do have a look at um, the ensembles for London. Now we are looking at the 12Z run, which hasn't fully come out yet. So we'll have a look at this first, and then we'll go back to the 6Z run. And you can, you can see in the next sort of week or so, temperatures are going to be around or above average. It's going to be dipping down to an average or just below for a period of time in a few days' time as a colder front comes through. But generally, things are going to be above average with southwesterly winds. Quite a bit of precipitation around in the north and west. You can see for London, there will be some precipitation around at times, but not massively um, um, not massive amount of rainfall really as that warmer air starts to subside or we see a change in pattern you can see there's a potential for more rainfall coming in and you can see a lot of ensemble members go well below average towards the zero or minus five line you can see the 12 set run is towards the colder end of the spectrum but it is not a complete outlier we do see a lot of runs going down to this level it is offset, of course, by a lot of milder runs, and if we did see this pattern continue over the next few days, these milder runs would sort of fizzle away. We would be going really quite cold on these ensemble runs. If we do have a look at the 6Z, you can see, again, quite a few going really quite cold towards the early parts of November. Still got quite a few milder outliers, and those milder outliers look like they have been chiseled away a little bit for the 12Z run. Much fewer milder outliers. So it could be we could be seeing here the development of our first potentially um, uh, wintry sort of cold spell. Now we did have, of course, that northerly wind a few days ago. But that is middle of October, so it's unlikely to be cold. But coming into the first week or so of November, it gives an increased chance we could be seeing more widespread frosts. And dare I say it, maybe if we did see what happens with the 6 Z GFS run, we could be seeing snow for some over hills, mountains, and if we get the exact right synoptics, the exact time of day, even low-lying areas could see a few flakes at times of that scenario. But again, still a lot to play for. If we do have a look at Glasgow to see what we'll be seeing further northwards, you can see for the 12Z run once again. Generally, things are above average with a lot of precipitation around. Very, very unsettled. Beyond that, you can see temperatures slowly dipping down around Halloween, but still a lot of rain around. And then beyond that, the early parts of November, a few ensemble members, similar to London, going really quite cold. Still, again, offset by these milder ensemble members, but the majority, I'd say about two-thirds, are around or below average for this time of year. Um, and some going really quite cold on the 12Z run. If we have a look at the 6Z run, you can see, again, similar pattern. Quite a few cold ensemble runs in the longer term. Now, again, it is sort of 10 to 14 time frames, and things can still change, but the ensemble charts are sort of the best thing we can look at in this sort of time frame and at the moment they are showing the potential for something really quite cold coming in for the start of november there are still warmer outliers but it is looking encouraging if you're looking for anything quite cold for the first week or so of november but for the time being especially in the north and west a lot of precipitation 
um, around. So keep an eye out for flooding, rain warnings, and um, do stay vigilant um, out there um, when it does rain heavily. If we now finally have a look at the UK Met Office run, see what we're going to be seeing over the next five days. You can see at the moment heavy rain spreading in from the west. Um, that will continue um, sort of to spread in and slowly fizzle away throughout tomorrow morning. Then it's just a lot of showers in from the west, mainly again in northern and western areas. But you can't rule out a few showers, especially in the east um, and central areas through maybe Monday as more low pressure does push in. And then as we head towards sort of a Tuesday early morning, you can see heavy rain pushing into Scotland once again, and just more and more heavy rain pushing in to the north and west, and the weather front's eventually making its way southwards and eastwards, but slowly fizzling out as they do. If we do have a look at the max temperatures, you can see reasonably chilly today, only 12, 13 degrees, so we still have some colder air um, over our heads. Beyond that, into Sunday, though, temperatures will recover a little bit tomorrow afternoon, maybe 14, 15 degrees, so a couple of degrees up. But where we see the rain in the northwest, we'll feel chilly. As we head to Monday, we could be seeing 15, 16 degrees in the far southeast, but for northern and western areas, maybe only mid-single digits, maybe getting up to maybe 10, 11 degrees, as we do have a lot of rain and cloud, which is going to hold those temperatures back. Beyond that, into Tuesday, temperatures maybe 14, 15 degrees, maybe a bit warmer over Ireland, as we do have some milder air coming in off the Atlantic, but again, we'll have showers and rain around. And finally, Wednesday could be a pretty mild day, 16, 17 degrees, potentially in the afternoon in England and Wales, but still got a uh, quite a high risk of showers once again again a similar day um, through to Thursday looking still really unsettled but potentially a little bit milder in the south all eyes now are going to be wow, what's going to be happening towards Halloween and beyond as it looks like at the moment the pattern of unsettled southwesterly winds is pretty much guaranteed up until maybe around 29th 30th of October beyond that still a bit of uncertainty for Halloween exactly what we're going to be seeing but it does look generally unsettled and then beyond that having seen what we've seen in this video it could be coming cold for the first week of November so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and I'll see you again for another video soon